Hello, I'm John Alsop, and you are? I'm Alan Lane. And you're from? Slunglow. Slunglow, yes. That's a theatre company. Yes, we make theatre. Okay. I don't know anything about theatre companies. Okay. Um, but I have read... Well, you're coming to Coastal. No, I'm coming to Coastal. We're, we're coming to Scarborough to make a show in the Suncourt, which is, is just over there. You can't see. And uh, Look, here you go. The Suncourt. We're going to make a show in February in the Suncourt, where I, I don't think it's going to be very sunny. And uh, we've come today to do a site visit for that show. Okay, so the show's based on a book. The book's called The Grand Remembers, which was written by a member of our company called Matthew David Scott. And he wrote a novel, which was published a couple of years ago, that we liked a great deal. So we've decided to turn it into five different pieces of performance, which will happen throughout North Yorkshire throughout 2012. And the first part is here in Scarborough at Coastal in February. And I got all excited this morning looking at your YouTube videos. Okay, good. And uh, you seem to do kind of immersive theatre. We do. We, so yeah. How, how immersed are we going to get? Well, I, I don't. Uh, we haven't. We haven't really made it yet, so I'm not sure. I think this one's going to be quite, um, quite classical because it's quite a classical space. So it, it, it's what resembles a stage, and the sea is a backdrop. So it feels like that could be, um, could be, could be different for us. But I still think there'll be a, an element of fun. I think that's the important thing. I liked the the idea that it's uh, the environment smells like you want it to smell. Yes, well, in this instance, it smells Probably like won't. the canteen of the spa, <laughs> which um, smells a lot like uh, cabbage, mm -hmm. good. Uh, um, which is good, because it's exactly what I wanted it to smell of. So tell me a little bit about the book. I don't, I don't, uh... well, the book is a story of three, three children who are friends, and the girl, Helen, has a magical power, which is her ability to write stories and change the world. And she goes missing when she's 14, and she's never seen again. And it's 10 years after, and the two boys, Edwin and Philip, are 24, and they get a letter from Helen, um, and they have to find each other. And in finding each other, they, uh, they now live in different cities, and, they, f and they, dis they start to explore what happened to Helen and why it happened. And that's, that's, that's what the book's about. It's, it's about how story, stories have the ability to change things and make things better and worse. So it's about stories, so we like the book a great deal, and I think this play here that we're going to do in Scarborough is going to be about loss and how painful it is to miss the thing that you no longer have. Lovely. So is the book available? Can we? Can yeah, we the book's available, and, uh, yeah, from, from, from Amazon yeah. and all other good bookshops. It's called The Grand Remembers by Matthew David Scott, and the show here, inspired by The Grand Remembers, will be called Converging Paths, Darkness at the Sun Court. Excellent. So you've got about eight weeks to get this. I don't really together. have eight weeks because I'm I'm going to have Christmas off, so I have six weeks to get this okay. together, and six weeks is more than enough time. So what kind of process do you go through? Uh, like I said, I don't know nothing about theatre. What kind of do you go through a set of stages? Well, well, Matthew's written a, a draft of the text for us, which is the story told from the perspective of the two boys. So it's two monologues that intertwine. And uh, the team around the corner, there's seven of us today, and, we're, and there's a few more to join. And we've come to visit the site to look at what could be possible, to what effects might be possible, how you can make things appear and disappear. Um, and then we'll go away and we'll work through that and work out what that means and how much that might cost to do and what that would how that would affect different things and then we'll come back here with about two weeks to go and start rehearsing it so the the next four weeks is the process of imagining what the show might be like and then holding it very firmly in your head i got this sense that you're a kind of a physical theatre kind of company but I might be wrong about that we're physical. imagining ac we're, acrobatics but, no, um, this probably not acrobatics we're physical in the sense that we make everything ourselves and we're very hard wearing but okay. we're not physical in the sense that we don't really do dancing Right. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Mm. Hmm. Cool. That might have run out of questions. Okay. That feels like that feels like might be it. Feels like uh, that was good. I thought. I thought good. it was good. Mm. Hello. I'm glad that we both thought it was good. Yeah. Well, I said. Well, uh, let's see what they think. But yes, we're you, happy. You, you wait till you come to Scarborough in February. They'll, yeah. I'm. I'm very excited. So what? What if it absolutely belts it down with the rain? Then we'll do it in the rain. That would be good. Yeah. I think. Well. I think it's going to be dramatic, no matter what happens. I think the sea is going to be our uh, our big special effect. Fabulous. And it's free. It, it is. You've got to get a ticket, but it's free because of the um, rather loveliness of, of North Yorkshire County Council and um, and the Arts Council. That's not a sentence you often hear. Not often, but they've done, they've done very well, uh, the pair of them. 
and so it's free, but you're just going to get a ticket through the Coastal website. Fantastic. Yep. Thank you Good. very much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs>